Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Today's big news is the discovery of the Sagittarius A star black hole that has the entire scientific world extremely excited about the new discoveries in this field. But before we go deeper into this big news, a reminder, if you are following the Target Prelims 2022 Crash Course series, tomorrow watch out for the next episode of Indian Economy. This will be episode number 3 for Indian Economy specifically. I hope all of you have been following this series in which we are trying to cover the last 365 days current affairs and also the current affairs of some days before that which are important topics for your prelims examination. This series will run till 21st of May every single evening 7.30pm live on our YouTube channel of Baidu's IES. This is an extremely important and free of cost series for everyone. So do join in in large numbers, subscribe to the YouTube channel of Baidu's IES and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you get a notification every single time that the video goes live. Now let's come back to the big news of the day. Now the headlines is that an international team of astronomers which are together called the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. They have unveiled the first ever image of a supermassive black hole which is located at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. This black hole is called Sagittarius A star. Now you might ask, how is it the first ever photo? Did we not have a photo of a black hole sometime back that again made a lot of news? Yes, we did have the first ever photo of black hole sometime earlier. But the main difference between the two is that this particular black hole is in the center of our own galaxy. While the earlier black hole whose photo was taken and it was circulated around the world, that was from a far away galaxy. That is why this particular black hole is a much more groundbreaking discovery as compared to the last one. Now this image is the first visual confirmation of this black hole. The interesting part is that as for the scientific community, for many many years they had believed that there is a black hole somewhere in this vicinity. But they could not prove it because they could not have this visual proof. But now with this photo coming in and being distributed around the world, this has now given proof of something that was believed by the scientific community for many many decades already. Now I'm sure all of you are aware of the concept of black holes. If not, just to give you an idea, black holes are those areas in space which have so much gravity. It is so intense that even the light cannot escape. Now because even the light cannot escape means the light does not reflect and meets your eye. That is why it is impossible to see the black hole. See, if you have read basic science, you would know the reason why you see things is when the light gets reflected off the surface of those things and it reaches your eye, that is when you are able to see that particular thing. In case of black hole, since even the light cannot escape it, it absorbs everything, it is impossible to actually locate a black hole. Now, if you might ask, if it is impossible to see a black hole, how is it that these photos have been created? Now, this photo specifically is not of the black hole, but it is of the nearby area of the black hole, which is actually reflecting the different materials and gases because of its gravitational power. Because it is completely dark, but there are gases that are glowing and they encircle this particular black hole. So these gases are the ones which have been captured. If you see in the earlier photo also, this actually is not the black hole. Black hole is somewhere in the middle. So this glowing surface that you see is actually the gases that have been captured and in the middle of it is actually the black hole. This particular black hole that has been captured is about 4 million times more massive than our sun. Meaning that it is of huge size. Now there have been a lot of papers written and discoveries made about the black hole. The most significant of those was the Einstein's theory of general relativity that showed that when a massive star dies, so when a star of a very very big size dies, it leaves behind a small dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than three times the mass of the sun, then the force of gravity overwhelms all the forces and it produces a black hole. In other words, if I say that the end of a life of a huge star is the beginning of the life of a black hole, that would be absolutely correct. So a black hole is formed when a huge star dies and comes to its last stage of life. Now, as I said earlier, the black holes are very, very difficult to observe because they are invisible and you have to see how a particular space is reacting to the matter surrounding it. 
that is how the scientists can make out whether or not there is a black hole located in this area. So scientists cannot directly observe black holes using telescopes etc. But what they can do is that they can study them by detecting the effect that they would have on the matter that is present nearby. Meaning that all the black holes will draw the matter inward which is a process called accretion. A similar process can occur if a normal star passes close to a black hole. So even if a normal star is passing through a black hole, the black hole will most probably attract it or pull it towards itself, which is a process called accretion. That is how the scientists can get to know that this is a probable location of a black hole and then they can conduct other experiments to certify the same. The next step in this process is when the attracted matter accelerates and it starts to heat up, it emits the X-rays. These X-rays are the ones that then can be caught on camera and then we can conclude whether or not there is a black hole in that vicinity as we had thought earlier. Now this particular black hole that is a Sagittarius A star has been given this name because this has been detected in the direction of the famous constellation Sagittarius. I am sure as a kid when you used to study science you would have studied about constellation that is specific patterns of stars that can be seen in the sky. So it is in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation that this black hole has been found. As we discussed earlier Although there is a first visual proof of this black hole, but the scientists for a very very long time have believed that there is a black hole in that vicinity. In fact, they have assumed that there is a black hole that existed somewhere there since 1974. In the 1990s, the astronomers mapped the orbits of the brightest stars near the center of the Milky Way galaxy to confirm that there is a super massive object present there. In fact, that particular discovery was awarded the Nobel Prize of Physics in 2020. Although it is huge in size, but because it is present 26,000 light years away from the Earth, it appears to be of the same size in the sky as a donut on the moon. But in reality, as we just discussed, its size is huge, many, many, many times the size of the Sun also. And because it is such a far away object, it is not possible to capture the images of that object by using any orthodox telescope. That is why in this particular project, Earth-sized virtual telescopes were actually combined in a series in order to ensure that we can have this kind of an image of this particular black hole. These are the locations of the telescopes as you can see. Two telescopes here, three, four, five and six, seven and eight. These eight telescopes combined worked together to ensure that we have a clear image of this particular black hole. As I said earlier, it is at a distance of 26,000 light years from the Earth and it is called the Sagittarius A star or SGR A star. Do remember, the technique that has been used to make up such an image of this black hole is called VLBI. That is, Very Long Baseline Array Interferometry. It combines a network of eight widely spaced radio antennas to mimic a telescope which is the size of our planet. This is all that you needed to know about this recent discovery in the world of science. Thank you so much for watching today's big news. Have a good day.